Hello friends! Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to try my best to make a little garden ornament. So if you saw my last video, I made this gorgeous butterfly card and the butterfly cut file I got from designbundles.net. I'm going to use the same butterfly cut file, the same vinyl, but instead of cardstock, because this is going out in my garden, I was at my local dollar store and they had these very thin plastic letter receipt holders. I can't remember what they were called. It came in a pack of five blue, purple, and pink. So I was looking at it and went, well, it's waterproof. It can go outside. I should be able to cut it just like acetate paper. So this is what I'm going to use to make some ornamental butterflies for my garden. I picked up some very thin wood dowels and I'm going to paint them with a glitter paint. I don't know how well the glitter is going to show, but I think it will look super cute. So let's get started. Okay, so I've given my glitter paint a bit of a shake there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour some into the lid, not a huge amount, but I think I'll need and we'll just start painting here and see how well this adheres. I just want them to be a, a little bit sparkly. You can see it's a pretty sheer white there. That's okay. We'll definitely give that sparkly look and it's going in the garden so I don't mind the wood look on there. Not sure how well the camera's picking up the sparkle but it definitely has a sparkle to it. Now I'm not wearing gloves because I forgot to put them on. But I'm not going to paint the last uh, two to three inches. I figure it's going to be in the dirt. So there's no point in having paint on there anyway. So then I'll know how far in I've painted. Okay, so there's one done. Looks like I'll have to do a second coat, but I'll keep you guys along for the ride for the first coat here. Yeah, definitely love glitter. Glitter makes everything better. Do you agree? I hope you agree. So I try and glitter as much as I can if it's going to work with the craft that I'm working on. Okay, I'm going to let these guys dry, and we'll see how they look. Okay, the paint has dried. I'll try and show you the glitter on there again. Again, it's just a subtle glitter, and that's what I was looking for. So I'll put those off to the side. Now let's glue our butterflies together. I'll glue one at regular speed, and then the other one I'll glue at fast speed. Okay. So you can see the three colors there. They are super cute. I'm going to use my clear, clear glue just so you can't see the glue in between. I'm going to try and keep the butterflies as protected as possible because I don't want the water to affect the glue. I don't think it will, but be on the safe side. very slippery glue. Let's get the next one on. So what type of crafts have you guys done? Anything for your gardens or flower pots? Any springy, summery crafts? Hopefully you've been able to do some super neat ones. Okay, now I'm gonna throw my vinyl piece on. So this is vinyl from Cricut. It was called Mosaics. It was a sampler set. I love getting the sampler sets because it gives me more ideas as I look at all the, the different colors or patterns that come in them. But you always hesitant to order it, especially directly off Cricut is where I normally do that because I do have access membership. So I do save a bit more money and I wait till they have a sale. 
and that's when I stock up. Let's get this burnished down. Now my transfer tape here, this is just a shelf liner from the dollar store. Pretty inexpensive, but it's my normal go-to transfer. Okay, so I just need to hunt down my piece of parchment paper that I normally use. This. So if you don't use this trick, you need to start using it. It gives you way more flexibility when it comes to lining items up. Because as you know with vinyl, you only get one shot. transfer tape all the way down as well. Flip them up enough that I can pull out the parchment paper. And out of the way. Lay him down. Press from the inside out. That will help get rid of air bubbles. And then burnish down. You can see I've got one little air bubble there. I can't tell if it's in the vinyl or if it's in just the transfer tape on its own. Okay. Oh, look what I did there. Shifted all those guys. I should have moved them out of the way. I know better. very slippery glue. Okay, push him all the way out. Throw a couple air bubbles in there. Let's see if I can get those out with some burnishing. Some days I do really, really good. Next to no, if any bubbles, and other days just doesn't work. But I think it's more this vinyl than anything. Does that end? No, those bubbles are gonna stay. And that is okay. Okay, now we're gonna glue this guy on. So I will just add the glue inside of the butterfly. So on the card that I made, I did put score lines in. I didn't do it on this one, just because it does weaken the acetate paper. As you can see, that's a holographic kind of circles on there. Okay. I'm gonna be very gentle with this one. Add the glue to this side. So I'm lining them up directly on the pink. This, this layer is the same size. So I doubled the pink layer. Okay, now I'll do the other one in fast mode.
Okay, the glue is all dry. So now I'm just gonna use hot glue and I'm gonna glue the stick just on the back. So we want about to there. So this is a low temp glue gun. Put a decent amount on there. Now I'm gonna let it cool for a second because I don't want to melt the plastic. It's so thin I could see this melting it. So hopefully that was enough. Get it lined up. There we go. One down, one to go. Get rid of the strings there. Again, give it a second. Cool off. We don't want to melt anything. Okay, hot glue has cooled off. It is adhered, so we're all done. What do we think? I think these are beautiful. I'm just trying to move them around so you can see the, the holographic sheen to them. And hopefully you can see the sheen on the sticks as well. I probably could have painted the sticks white or purple and then added the sparkle, but I kind of wanted that natural look because they are gonna go into uh, my front uh, flower pots. I think they are super cute. And knowing that I started with this guy and ended up with that, I think is amazing. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you. Until next time.